Today we're going to be filming uh, how to time a high sun V twin. Um, you always want to start by removing the spark plugs. Once you get the spark plugs removed, you want to remove your cam sensor which then will expose your timing marks on the flywheel. Once you have that removed, you also want to remove the cam bolt cap so that way you can turn the engine over by hand. Once you remove your cap, you will proceed to remove the valve covers. That way it will allow you to see your cam sprocket with your timing marks on it. So the first thing you want to do is put the cylinder to the right is always first when you start doing the timing on the V-twin. Uh, you want to rotate the engine until you see T1 in your axis on the flywheel. Once you have the T1 right in the middle of your sight hole, you would then check to make sure that your piston is at top dead center. And there you are. You are top dead center. The next thing you would do at this time, you would uh, check your cam sprocket and make sure that your timing marks are horizontal with the head. So you have one here and one here. Once you confirm that, you would then rotate the engine 270 degrees. When timing the left cylinder, you want to confirm that your timing mark says T2 on the flywheel mm -hmm. and then you would check the piston to make sure it's at top dead center, which it is. The next thing you would do is confirm that your cam sprocket timing marks line up with the head. And that's the way you time your V-twin. Once you confirm that everything's in time, you then will proceed to turn the engine over by hand six to seven times to confirm that your valves are not going to give you a piston slap. Once you confirm that, your then your engine is in time. 